What's going on, family? It's your man, Lucky Murray, the entertainer, motivator, educator, bringing you another edition of What's the Deal when I talk about things that I care about and you probably don't. Let's get it to it, man. Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, Cleveland Cavaliers. What's going on with this situation, man? Last week, I had to talk about this situation, man, because it was it was some, it was some really juicy information. But now, over the weeks, it's just coming out to be more crazy and more crazy and more crazy. You know, um, teams are trying to trade for Kyrie. Kyrie has his phone. LeBron uh, allegedly saying that he can't wait to beat uh, Kyrie Irving. You know what? For damaging his his image. LeBron James saying fake news. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. What's going on in the United States of America and in the National Basketball Association? The world is going to end. Oh no! Well, the world's not going to end, man. But what well, his was? It was the deal, man. Uh, I don't know why am I reporting to y'all with this story, but it's pretty funny. It's pretty cool, as you know. Kyrie does not want to be second fiddle to LeBron James no more. And LeBron was like, look, bro, I don't care. You know, Julius Irving, Irving, Texas, Kyrie Irving, we're still going to the finals. And with LeBron James on your team, if you seen the 07 Cavaliers, you seen the 07 Cavaliers when he took them boys to the NBA finals, man. I don't even, I don't even know. The best player on that team was Larry Hughes? Ugh. What, Drew Good? Booby M- Gibson? Ah. That's ugly. He took them to the NBA Finals and they got swept. He took them back in 07. I remember this because I was a senior in high school. But now, man, that's like... It's like LeBron James is pretty much gone, and Kyrie is like, "Look, man, I don't want to be stuck in town where this team is built for LeBron James. He leaves, and we're gonna suck barnacles." Okay, I have a very interesting uh, a question with this. It's like with Kyrie, why would you want to stay for one more year where you're more than likely you're going to the NBA Finals? Then next year, LeBron James is pretty much gone. You know, I don't think LeBron James is going to stay even though the team went to four consecutive uh, NBA Finals. He didn't do it for the Miami Heat. I think he really wants to play for a younger team because he don't want to play all these minutes anymore. LeBron James is like 30 years old, but he's been playing basketball for so many years that his body is eventually going to slow down. It happened to Kobe. I didn't think Kobe was going to slow down until like two years before he retired. He got injured, and the, the rest was history. The rest was history. Now, Kobe was still Kobe, don't get me wrong. But, you know, Kobe Bryant wasn't the Kobe Bryant that we used to know. You know, he was a former shell of himself by the time he retired. Still a good player, a really good player. But it wasn't the Kobe Bryant where, you know, when he threw that lob to to Shaq in the, old, in the 2000 playoffs to beat the Portland Trailblazers. You know, the Kobe Bryant with the, with the peasy throw. It wasn't that Kobe Bryant. So... And also the keep the Cleveland Cavalier, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers saying that they cannot find or talk to Kyrie Irving. If I'm paying you fifteen million dollars, bruh, you staying at the house, okay? I better be able to contact you twenty four seven. All right, if I even think I can contact you, it's gonna be a problem. I'm paying you fifteen million dollars. You need to answer your phone. Okay, email, text, Facebook messenger, Instagram. And then they say he unfollowed LeBron James on Instagram. A bunch of stuff. Kyrie Irving's not going back to Cleveland Cavaliers. They're going to trade him. And then they probably going to get a few first round picks. And they all stay. They say it with Minnesota. Minnesota might trade Andrew Wiggins back to the Cavaliers for Kyrie Irving. Which I think that that's maybe a smart move. On Minnesota because Minnesota I think could contend for the playoffs could they win in the in the West no but if they could contend for a playoff spot and I think that Kyrie Irving Jimmy Butler and you have some other nucleus um, for the Minnesota Timberwolves that could give them a, a really good shot to make a run in the playoffs maybe a first round uh, they might get out the first round they might get into the second round the West is really tough Cavaliers they signed Derrick Rose and 
I think they can still get to the playoffs. I think the I think the Celtics maybe a year or so away for dethroning the Cavaliers. But anyway, this is a mess. What do you think about this, man? Comment below. Do you think it's a deal or no deal? Do I think it's a deal or no deal? Personally, that's a no deal. I, I think that if you're getting paid 15, 20 million dollars, you do your job. If you don't like it, hey. You know, he went to his boss, told him he didn't like the fact that the story leaked, think that LeBron James team leaked it because he was jealous. But hey, you still are a professional. That's why they call you a professional for a reason. You know, you're not one of these kids that play at the Y or these, or these grown men that play at the Y and do it as a hobby. It's a, your job. So you have to be professional. It's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murray here to tell you what's the deal with Kyrie Irving and this whole fiasco in Cleveland, part two. Right here, that's a deal. They hating on the low, so that's a no deal. How we man deal? Got the car from the bank of steel. The offer's not enough, so I can't take the deal. We playing a game of deal or no deal.